Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss a program which is to print sum of individual digits of a number. Uh, suppose I have a number 123. So output will be 6. It means sum of these three digits 1, 2 and 3. So sum of these three digits uh, uh, is equal to 6. Mm. So uh, with the help of this program, we can identify this sum. So in the first statement, a comment is uh, showing objective of the program, then header file stdr.h for printf and scanf, then main function contains several instructions in which first statement is variable declaration. So in this uh, declaration, I have used four variables i, n, a and s. s is initialized with 0. Then printf statement is written, it is showing enter number. Uh, messages and it will be displayed on console when we execute this program then scanf function will read a number that number will be stored inside variable n now this while loop is used to find out sum of digits of a number so uh, this uh, condition is saying number must be greater than 0 so if number is greater than 0 then this loop will repeat if number is equals to 0 or less than 0 then this loop will automatically terminate it so first statement is a equals to n modulus 10 so if our number is 123 so first time n modulus 10 will be equal to 3 because if we divide 123 by 10 so remainder will be 3 so i can write a equals to 3 then second statement is saying s equals to s plus a so current value of s is 0 if we add uh, a into 0 so a is 3 so 0 plus 3 it becomes 3 so we can assign 3 into s now s equals to s upon 10 will take place so if we divide any number by 10 then its last digit will be removed because the data type which we are using is integer so the actual result of this expression will be 12.3 but because of integer data type it will only contain 12 as a uh, 12 as an output uh, so this is the first rotation of loop now this loop will check its condition n greater than 0 so the current value of n is 12 so 12 is greater than 0 it is true now 12 modulus 10 will be calculated so the new value of a will be 2 then s equals to s plus a will take place so the current value of s is 3 and a is 2 so sum will be 5 so s will be modified to 5 then n equals to n divided by 10 this will take place so n is 12 12 by 10 so the current value of n will be 1 so this is the uh, ending of second rotation now we have to check again the condition n greater than 0 so now current value of n is 1 which is greater than 0 so this statement will take place which is n modulus 10 so n is 1 1 modulus 10 so 1 is not divisible by 10 so remainder will be 1 itself then s equals to s plus a so current value of s is 5 and a is 1 so the new value of s will be 6 then n equals to n by 10 will be executed so the current value of n is 1 1 by 10 it means 0 point something will be received but n will receive only 0 so this is the end of third rotation now if we check the condition 0 greater than 0 it becomes false it means this loop has done its work now this printf will be executed it will print sum equals to and this percent d is replaced with the value of s so s is containing 6 so on console the output will be displayed 6 so why 6 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equals to 6 so uh, hope you have understood the concept uh, how can we add digits of a number now i am compiling this program so that we can execute it so errors and warnings are 0 now I am executing this code 
I have entered a number 123. So you can see the output which is 6. So uh, you can uh, say that the program is working properly. Now I am entering a 4 digit number. So uh, output is 10. So if we add 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it becomes uh, a sum 10. So it is uh, correctly working for a 4 digit number. So you can say that this program will work for a number which contain any number of digits. But you also remember that uh, the uh, limitation of integer variable which is its uh, length. It means it uh, occupies two bytes of memory. So it has a certain range of number which it can store. So you have to uh, focus upon that. If you want to exceed that range, you can prefer long int instead of int data type. Now these are my information, uh, my contact number and email ID. You can uh, ask about any difficult topic so that I can make video of that. You can visit my website. This is my Android app. Here you will find out some uh, tutorials about C, C++, Java, web technology, ethical hacking. This is my website's link. Uh, here you also find out, you will be able to find out some tutorials or PPTs. You can read this, these books which I have authored. You can follow this YouTube link uh, to learn more about uh, various programming languages. Thank you for watching this video.